All right, so uh, this is a little bit different uh, today. <laughs> it's basically Saturday. I should be at work right now because, you know, normally I work every day, as we all know. And uh, the schedule currently for my channel is that I kind of upload from Monday to Friday. I try it on Friday, but like sometimes it's just literally impossible. So I should be working today, but because all of this Corona bullshit and stuff like that, like there is no work. Like I have a day off pretty much all weekend. I should be happy because like this is my first off weekend from past three months basically because of my work schedule that I put on myself. But at the same time it's kind of like it's 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 weird to feel good about the situation and know it's happening especially in Europe and now because I live in Paris France is like one of the top on the ranking <laughs> of the infection, shit is going down pretty fastly here. <laughs> I wanted to kind of jump in to talk about, I guess, correlation, I guess, with coronavirus and virtual reality, because let's be real, like, we all know that this decade is like kind of all about virtual reality and its future as a, like, kind of a technology to kind of propel the next decade. And I definitely know that uh, either in this year or like in the next years, it will naturally like, you know, kind of grew into the community and like society all around the world because let's face it, the technology is so versatile that you can just play games for enterprises, for education, from everything. You know, it's kind of like similarly to Facebook idea of connecting everyone, you know, with uh, social media. Virtual reality is kind of like the same way, but it's kind of like adding the visual aspect of that. So like no matter what stance of people are on virtual reality, let's face it, it's gonna be uh, future nonetheless. The problem is that I'm not sure if it's the correct way to implement it that way because from all of these quarantines like from this uh, coronavirus it's basically people are forced to be staying at ho homes to in their own personal spaces just like not going outside and that's like you know kind of the idea of virtual reality kind of it's kind of like you escape from the reality to the virtual one because the real one sucks ass <laughs> and you're like creating your not like perfect world but like you just want to get out <laughs> basically this is pretty much the main promise of the real virtual reality right at the same time it's kind of like i don't like that we're kind of trying to introduce the technology but like by forcing that i do really wonder if it is like actually the time because you know the virus will not be like helped <laughs> in a long time you we can at this point just like slow down the infection stuff like that and like medications and other things like they will come pretty much next year which is a long time so like 2020 is uh, so lovely <laughs> so far <laughs> In general, it seems like a perfect time to get into virtual reality because that's the main promise of that, to get, escape from this fucking shit world <laughs> that I don't know what's even happening. I don't know, I feel like I just kind of imagine that in a more positive light, but it's kind of like now it becomes that we should, like we are turning the negative thing into a positive, which is I guess still good, but like we are like coming from a perspective to just like escaping. <laughs> It almost feels like, like a zombie apocalypse at the same time because like the streets are just empty and no one is like around, Everything, everyone is just on their homes. I don't know if it would be even better. I, I would be more happy with a zombie outbreak rather than just like abandoned city like in uh, Chernobyl or something. But yeah, even that, like if people will get more into virtuality now, nowadays, like the technology is stuck now, especially like the headsets because most of the parts come from China anyways, deliveries and stuff like that, they're halted because the borders are closed, right? So like nowadays, people who have a headset any headset in general now are lucky <laughs> pretty much because I don't know if like there are a lot of headsets in stock but I would grab them as fast as they can because I don't think soon enough there will be a uh, restock anyways and now it seems like a good time it's like I'm not selling the idea of that but like I'm 
pretty sure by the momentum that the situation is just going down. It just seems like a inevitable future, <laughs> kind of, which sucks. But like, I don't know. I I mean, I should be more happy to get, I guess get more into virtual reality nowadays, especially now that weekends I have off. <laughs> I mean, weekends. I'm not sure. This is a first weekend, and I'm pretty sure the next ones who I will have off also. And the, my, my main job from Monday to Friday, I feel like eventually I will have off days also, so I will not be doing anything. Like, I mean, maybe I'm like kind of panicking or whatever, but like I, I'm not the sole person in this situation. There are a lot of people like that, especially in schools, universities, like everything closes in Paris and in France on Monday. Now it's Saturday, so we still have two days of like, I guess, living or whatever. I don't know, everything seems just a little bit crazy. But like at the same time, at this point we can't do much, just protect ourselves with vitamins just like washing hands just like i guess just paying attention to hygiene in general nowadays but yeah i, I definitely see the direct correlation between uh, the virus outbreak and virtual reality not for a purpose just by a pure coincidence that technology will like allow us a kind of to live in other reality kind of it goes the same for the internet obviously because it's more in uh, popular like the flat screen one but like pff, you can only do so far with that and uh, we all know that vr is like there's more and more possibilities with that so we all know that 2020 will be like a really good year for vr but i would not assume it's gonna be that way. I mean, we all know that Alex who is releasing like nine days from today, so this is gonna be huge and like the next releases. But, like at the same time, all the conferences like the Gamescom or like E3, is, everything is cancelled. And now it seems like also the good time to just introduce everything that into virtual reality. So it's kind of like everyone can hang out at the conferences in virtual reality through that. I don't know. I feel like future is still like unknown. I mean, we all know that it's gonna get worse anyways. <laughs> so it's kinda like we have to, I guess, change some things, I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely a good topic, I guess, to correlate with the virus because uh, if real reality sucks, then we just have the other one <laughs> at this point, pretty much. <laughs> oh God, it seems like Mad Max kind of theme or whatever, just like apocalypse in general, like 5,000 years later from now or something well yeah i don't know maybe let me know like what are your thoughts around it i feel like it's a good like starter of conversation or whatever because i feel like not many people have the balls to even talk about the virus and stuff like that because of all demonetization and stuff like that but like i don't really care because i care about i guess the truth and trials and tribulations bitch but yeah let me know what you think about it i mean <laughs> if anyone responds or whatever <laughs> So uh, I'm just gonna, um, I guess, uh, wash myself or whatever because I just woke up and I just wanted to get out of the system, kind of some thoughts about it and uh, enjoy my, I guess, uh, free weekend. I hope with virtual reality, but I, I still have some shit to do because like if it's the first day of holidays, basic for you, basically for me, there's a lot of pile of shit around me to do so yeah just stay safe and just like you know kind of take care of yourself y'all yo. uh because like at this point we just can only do so far but we should just care about ourselves and just like you know people around us in general so yeah talk to you later <laughs>